والله لا يحب الظالمين ذلك نتلوه عليك من الآيات والذكر الحكيم إن مثل عيسى عند لآدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له فيكون الحق قم ربك فلا تكن من الكافرين صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Peace and the blessings of Allah upon all of you. Brothers and sisters in Islam, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you one and all here tonight to the lecture by Mr. Ahmad Didat on the topic Crucifixion, X-I-O-N, or Crucifixion, C-T-I-O-N. We leave the judgment to you after Mr. Didat has delivered this lecture. This is but one of a series of lectures on similar or related topics. We still have two more lectures after tonight. That is Al-Quran, the visual miracle the Athlone Civic Center to, on Monday evening and on Tuesday evening in Kensington Civic Center is Jesus God we invite you to those lectures too Mr. Ahmad Didat at this day and age needs no introduction we all know he's from Durban it's borne out by the fact that he doesn't speak Afrikaans he's a banana boy he has just returned from an extensive Arab country tour lecturing on these very topics. We are indeed fortunate to have such a man in our midst and such a man who is so willing to answer our call when he came from his extensive tour. I am sure you didn't come to listen to me, so I will now ask Mr. Ahmad Dida to take the floor. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل إن الباطل كان زهوقا وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين ولا يزيد الظالمين إلا خسارة صدق الله صدق الله مرة نزيم مستر تشيرمان and my dear brothers and sisters on the subject of the crucifixion the Muslim is told in no uncertain terms in the Holy Quran the last and final revelation of God he is told in chapter 4 verse 157 wama qataluhu wama salabuhu that they didn't kill him and they did not crucify him 
walakin shubbiha lahum but it was made to appear to them so that is what they thought they had done the jews wa inna allazina ikhtalafu fihi la fi shaqqin minhum and those who dispute therein are full of doubts ma lahum bihi min ilm they have no certain knowledge illa tiba zan they only following conjecture guesswork fiction wama qataluhu yaqinan for the surety they killed him not mr chairman ladies and gentlemen could anyone have been more explicit more dogmatic more uncompromising in rejecting the dogma of a faith than this the answer is impossible the only one who could afford to do such thing would be the almighty omnipotent omniscient lord of the universe he is the only one who is entitled to speak in such terms illa tibazan they only follow conjecture guesswork fiction the muslim believes in this authoritative statement of the holy quran as of god from allah bari taala himself hence he asks no questions and he seeks for no proof he says my lord said this is what my lord says amanna saddaqna we hear and we affirm to this muslim attitude the christian retorts that we do not accept your book the holy quran as of god and as such it holds no authority for us and they further reason that how can a man a thousand miles away from the scene of the happenings of the alleged crucifixion and 600 years away in time tell us what happened in jerusalem some 600 years before we say that this is from god the omnipotent omniscient the all knowing he knows and he has revealed this knowledge to his messenger muhammad the christian says had we believed in these statements of the quran as of god then there would have been no problem we would all have been muslims and that is actually what would have happened if they believe that this is allah's kalam they would be all muslims they say for the claim that we have written records in our scriptures of eye witnesses and ear witnesses to the happenings in the gospels of matthew mark luke and john now if the christian reacts against the muslim and attitude if he reacts strongly we can understand because his salvation depends upon this belief to him this is the most important thing of his religion as saint paul the self appointed 13th apostle the self appointed 13th apostle of jesus christ as he claims in the book of corinthians first corinthians chapter 15 verse 14 he says If Christ is not risen from the dead our preaching is vain your faith is vain In other words you got nothing he's telling his christian fellow christians he said look if this had not happened Christ coming back from the dead then all of christianity is worthless worthless the americans would say garbage is all garbage nothing you haven't got a thing the only thing you have is he's telling paul is telling the christians is the death and resurrection of jesus if that is not there you haven't got a thing to tell anybody else and you know the truth of this statement because no christian comes and tells us that we will teach you hygiene i'm talking about personal hygiene we are the most hygienic people no christian will come and tell you that we will teach you hospitality we are the most hospitable people 
No Christian can come and tell you that we will teach you ethics or morality. Though we have our little shortcomings, but in South Africa, we can boast that the Muslim, he has the lowest alcoholic consumption in the country. He has the lowest gambling rate in the country.